It was just eight months ago on this very channel when I actually discovered the Amazon Influencer Program. And since then, I've been pumping out content every single week. And I'm gonna hop on the screen here and show you exactly how we've been doing uh, now, eight months into the program. All right, so you can see right here, we're doing anywhere pretty consistently, anywhere from 700 being the high to probably a low day being 160. So anywhere between about 175 up to $700 every single day, we're averaging about $10,000 a month, which is really crazy eight months into a side hustle. Now, if you want this program to work for you, I can honestly say this is the most important video you could possibly watch. I'm gonna give you everything you need to get approved for the program. I'm gonna give you everything you need to get your first thousand dollars. And then I'm gonna give you everything you need to scale to get numbers just like what you're seeing on this screen right here. And if you don't believe that, here's 50 testimonials on the screen of people who are learning exactly what I'm about to show you that have been able to make this work for them. This stuff actually works. It's very, very real. Two super important things. The first one is I promise I'm gonna give you everything I know. I, I will not withhold anything as I, as I share all this information here. And the second thing is if you stay till the end, I've got a super cool little gym. It's something that you can do that'll take about 10, 20, 30 seconds of work every single day. And uh, for me, at least, it's resulted in literally thousands of dollars of extra money every month with this influencer program. All right, so let's dive in and talk about getting approved. As always, you can hover over anywhere on the bottom and you can jump ahead if you are already at the approval point or you're somewhere further along. Just skip ahead to where in the video is relevant to you. So first, let's get rid of the biggest misconception people have about getting approved. And that is that it's a follower count thing. I have people reaching out to me literally every day now saying, I've got a thousand followers, I've got 2,000 followers, I got disproved immediately, why am I getting disproved? You know, I've got accounts bigger than all these guys, why am I getting disproved? And I've gotta tell you, it has nothing to do with follower count. Let me show you these two screenshots. These are messages I got in the last week or two from different people. And as you can see, they don't have much follower account. We've got people with 83 followers and we've got some with 13 followers. The lowest I've seen is someone get approved with five followers. But what we learned from that is this absolutely does not have to do with how many followers you have on a certain platform. So if it's not followers, we look a little deeper and we know that it's gotta be about engagement. That means comments, likes, things like that. They want to know how engaged your audience is, whatever size it is, with your content. They don't care, at least currently, about how big your audience is. And that might change, so you probably wanna do this fast watch this video and go apply. Now there's four different platforms that you can get approved on currently. There's YouTube, there's TikTok, there's Facebook, and there's Instagram. So far they haven't uh, given us any sign that they're going to expand that, so you need to do this on one of those four platforms. Now, from my experience, unless you already have an audience on one of these platforms that you can uh, basically make some adjustments to your content and get that engagement, if you're starting fresh here, you're going to want to use the TikTok account because TikTok is much, much easier to get engagement very, very quickly. It's much kinder to brand new creators, and you'll be able to do this within a week or two as opposed to a few months. Obviously, See, the sooner you get approved for this, the more money you can start making quicker. Now, here's where this gets awesome, right? Because we don't need to blow up. We don't need to go viral on TikTok. All we need to do on TikTok is we need to get an engaged follow. We need five subscribers, but we need them all to have engaged, or we need our content to get a lot of engagement, which means we can focus our content efforts completely on engagement, not on virality. And I'm gonna show you three example accounts to give you an idea of what it is that I'm talking about here. The first one is this one right here, try to finish this song, okay? And all these guys have done is they've got this account where they, they play these songs, right? And and they ask you to finish the song if you know it. Now what this does is if it's a pretty popular song, a lot of people wanna share their knowledge, right? People love to be know-it-alls. They love to, to know something and be able to tell people that they know it and kinda get that little high of feeling that, right? So try to finish the song. Another similar account, someone who I actually know is approved for this uh, Amazon Influencer Program, is this one right here. And they do something similar, but they say, can you finish this quote, right? Can you finish this Dr. Seuss quote? What's your favorite quote in the comments? So you do things to get people to engage. And we're not getting viral content here, right? We're getting a, a pretty typical 200, 300 views, but because it's built around engagement, not virality, they're able to get a lot of engagement and that's enough to trigger you getting approved for the Amazon Influencer Program. And this third account called Name That Girl, right? Anything that's name that, name that, name that celebrity, name out who said that, name this, right? Any of those things. Now you've got to not do something so hard that you get one comment because nobody can name it. You want to do something that's broad that a lot of people know because then everybody can name it and they all feel proud being able to throw it in there and say, I know something, right? We all love to be the person that can raise their hand and answer the question. So what you're going to do is you're going to make a brand new TikTok account. You're going to make it something around like this and you're going to post only like five or 10 times before you start applying to get approved every day. They do not care how many times you apply, so you can apply literally every single day, and all you've gotta do is be over that threshold one time and you can get approved. Now, once you're approved, this is another thing people don't realize, there's actually two separate approvals. There's approval to be part of the program, to be able to even upload videos to the program, and then there's approval for what's called on-site placement, which is what we really care about here. So when you log in, you're gonna see something uh, in your dashboard that looks like this. Mine says earned on-site commissions and increase your earnings. You'll probably have a lock mark there, and that means you're not approved 
through for the second thing, which is on-site commissions or making money off people watching your videos. So step number two is you're going to have to upload three videos. Now you don't want to upload more. Essentially, you need at least three for them to review and then decide if they want to approve you or not. But if you upload 10, they're going to actually watch 10 videos before they decide if they're going to approve you or not. And if you make a single mistake or break any of their terms in any of those 10 videos, then you're out. So if you upload 100 videos, there's probably going to be a mistake. They're going to watch them all and there's going to be a problem. So you're going to want to upload only three videos. Now here's what's super, super important about those videos. The first thing is if you've used your face in your influencer account that got approved on your TikTok account, right? You'll want to make sure that you show that face in these videos that they can link it and say, this is the same person who's doing the influencer, you know, who's actually got the account. The same person is actually making these videos. The second thing is they've got quite a bit of rules actually that you have to follow for these videos. You can see here's one page, here's a second page, a third page, and here's a fourth page come back and watch this video when you get to this point and then just pause it on each of those and review them. I would review them before you upload your videos and make sure that none of those uh, rules were broken because on these three videos, they're way picky and they're not picky after that. And the third thing that for me that I've seen people do better with is demoing the product. So you don't want a video, for example, where I'm gonna hold up my iPhone and I'm just gonna talk about it, right? This is the iPhone, it feels good, yada, 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 and I'm just kind of like talking. That's not going to do it, they're not going to like that. You want to demo, meaning I'm gonna show you this product in action, show you exactly how it works and you know, you're know you going to see it doing what it's supposed to do and solving the problem it's supposed to solve. That's how you want to film these videos. So there's a lot of confusion here because when people get approved and they upload their first three videos, it will actually get published. You'll see right here, these are my videos. It will show up as published and you'll think, oh, wow, I'm totally approved. But it's not, your video can get published before you're approved for on-site commissions. And so don't confuse those. You'll know when you're approved for on-site commissions, when you'll see this, when your, your screen looks like this one right here and there's not a lock there anymore. So what you'll do is you'll upload your three videos just by clicking upload video. You'll upload the video and you'll add a title and a thumb and we'll talk about those in a minute. But after you upload those three videos, you're going to be waiting and it can take, uh, they've gotten a lot faster. Originally it was anywhere from from four to eight weeks. I'm seeing people get approved within a week or two now. Uh, they still tell you it only takes two days, but you should probably ignore that until they catch up. Now, here's the important thing to know for this, and a lot of people get stuck here. They get disproved at this stage, and then they, they quit. Now, it's very important to know you only have three tries. You only get three tries to get approved at this stage, and if you don't get approved any of those three tries, your account gets taken down, and you'll have to start all over again. So you'll be want to be very careful, go back and pause and read all those rules that I showed on the screen, and then you'll also want to just take a lot of time to make these videos really good videos, because this is so, so important. Now let's talk about filming these videos and the setup that I'm using. I get asked this all the time. It should only take 30 seconds because it's really easy. I use my iPhone for everything, and honestly, I just use the iPhone audio for almost everything. Now, sometimes I'll be really far away from the camera because I need to film something kind of far away because it's bigger or I'm outside or I'm in a room where the, the sound's really bad. And in that case, there's two things that I'll use. Uh, one, I'll use this simple wireless lapel mic. You can get this on Amazon just by Googling wire wireless lapel mic. You can see that right there. So sometimes I will plug that in and I will use that. Now, if I'm in a room with a lot of echo, I'll use this right here. This is called a Shure MV88. And all it does is plug directly into your iPhone. Works great. And the audio is absolutely incredible. It honestly sounds just like you're sitting in a podcast but you do need to be about this far away from the camera for that to work. And the last thing I will use because I do want to use my hands to showcase the product, I'll use this that I'm showing you on the screen right here. I'm actually using that for this video for this angle of the camera as well right now. So that's why I'm not showing it to you. Um, but I'll use this and all you do is clip your phone in, attach it to a desk, a doorway, anything you want, and you can maneuver the camera. And I can do this and maneuver my camera anywhere I want really, really easily, and it works great. Um, so that's all I'm using. You don't need much equipment, right? You could start with just your phone and then slowly expand. At max, you're gonna spend 50 to 100 bucks. The one thing I would say is if you're going to focus on anything, you want to focus on your audio. I've had videos get disapproved because of audio. I, I've seen videos with bad audio never show up. I think that they're pretty specific and they actually are pretty particular about having good audio, which makes a lot of sense. All right, let's talk real quick about how I'm actually outlining my videos. Obviously, we want the videos to do better and the best way you can do that, the best way you can make your videos be the one to show up is you're the one that makes the best video that actually answers all the customer's questions. Now, Amazon makes this so easy because look, there's two different places I'm going to show you on the screen here. First one is right here on a product page, answered questions, right? I can click over there. These are the most common questions and on the big products, you'll see upvotes right here. Um, and it'll typically be ranked and you'll see things with like 100 upvotes, which means a ton of people have that question. They all want to know the answer to that. So you've got to make sure you answer that question. Now, this is a smaller product, so we don't we don't see any upvotes, but make sure those top few questions do get answered. Anyway, this big question is, hey, can this fit cloth diapers and homemade wipes? So you'll want to make sure you can answer that. It'll take three extra seconds, right, to say, yes, it can do that. And you've now increased your, your conversion rate and you'll probably do better because Amazon sees that you're answering people's questions. And in fact, if you look through all these questions, I instantly have a theme right? Will it fit this? Will it fit this? Will it fit this? So you'll want to kind of just showcase 
showcase each of the actual sizes of the pockets in here because that's clearly what people are most worried about right now. And the second thing that you'll talk about is if I scroll down one more time, you can see each Amazon product has a five bullet point description about it. So you'll wanna go through each of these and talk about each of those because that's kind of the main sales points that the Amazon seller is thinking that people will, will care about the most. So you'll wanna go down those and make sure you answer everyone's questions and you're good to go. Typically the, the video will be anywhere from two to four minutes. All right, now I'm actually gonna start uh, telling you what where to get your first thousand dollars. This is how you make your first thousand dollars and it's crazy just how easy it is. Sorry if there's an echo and sorry if the kitchen's messy here. Anyway, you're gonna watch around your, walk around your kitchen. You like kitchen items because they actually have they make more money. They have a higher commission percentage and there's a good chance that everything on your kitchen costs a decent amount of money and is on Amazon. I'm just gonna kind of show you. Like if I walk through my kitchen, these knives bought on Amazon. This paper towel holder bought on Amazon, right? If I open up a cupboard, I can see right there, I've got all kinds of stuff in there bought on Amazon. This is a quesadilla maker. This is a griddle, right? There's another griddle down there. Everything is bought on Amazon. Okay, I'm looking around my pantry. It's the same thing. Amazon, 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 Amazon. Your house is full of stuff that sells on Amazon. I can promise you that. You walk around and each time you walk around, you'll see a few more things that sell on Amazon. Now, one more super cool thing to note is that they don't have to be purchased by you on Amazon. So if you're in another country or you're a big Walmart person, it doesn't matter as long as the product is sold on Amazon. So when I go to upload a product, right, I upload a product right here and then I add a tag, meaning I tag which product it is that I'm putting in there, right? Now I can choose from my orders, which I've got plenty of orders here. Hey, we watched Creed last night. And I can browse Amazon and literally pick any product that's available on Amazon. It doesn't matter if you purchased it or if it's connected your account in any way. So it doesn't matter where you purchased it. Everything in your house is probably going to be on Amazon or at least a vast majority of it. Now, if you don't have that much that you purchased, maybe you live in a small apartment, maybe you're a student in a dorm or something like that, that's still okay. Friends, family, I've made thousands of dollars literally reviewing stuff that my mom purchased. I went over to my mom's house. I spent three hours walking around the house, taking videos, and I was able to make quite a bit of money just from those videos videos of stuff that she purchased on Amazon, like garbage cans, appliances, keyboards, all kinds of stuff. All right, and when you go to upload, it's also gonna give you the option of uploading a thumb. Now, some people swear that you don't need a thumb and you don't need a thumb. I've seen literally thousands of videos go up without a thumb. So if you wanna make this the simplest thing in the world, make a video, upload it and be done, you do that. I personally believe you'll get a better click-through rate with a semi-decent thumb. Now, what I typically have been doing in my thumbs is a couple different things. One, I try to do perspective, meaning if it's a smaller product, I try to hold it out and people kind of like, they're, they're drawn to things with perspective. You can't really see it right there, but uh, that, that people like that. So I try to do perspective. Two, I try to really make sure that product is showcased. Like it stands out, the lighting makes it stand out. Everything makes that product grab your eyes first. And then third, I've found these red arrow ones have done better for me where I'll put an arrow and I'll point it to somewhere on the product that I like something. So in this case, I like the way the handle worked. And so I put an arrow to the handle. Beyond that, I've tested me in the thumbnail, me not in the thumbnail. I haven't seen any, any crazy differences yet in any of that. So go have fun with it. Don't spend too long on your thumbnail. Now, again, when you go to upload, it's gonna ask you for a title right there. Now, I've seen one thing do really, really well. If I owned a product for a while and I tell them that in the title, it seems to do very good. So after owning for three years, my thoughts on this, right? How I've liked this after using it for two years, that has a lot of power to it because that's what people really wanna know. Like, how is this going to handle years and years of use? And this person definitely has had it for a while. They know what they're talking about. So it just gives you some authority. So if you can do that, that's how I typically try to do my title. If not, I'll say this is a review and typically I'll try to see if the top question has something that I can kind of touch on. So in this case, it doesn't necessarily, like are you able to switch the L on this desk to the short side? Uh, that's probably not something I would put in my title. But if I can, I'll read that question and I'll try to include that in my title, right? So that they know, hey, this video answers my question. And I know that a lot of people have that question because look, this has 11 votes compared to everything else, two or zero. So that's a pretty common question people are probably thinking about. And I know that a lot of people don't know that they're able to go and click the questions button and go down to the bottom and see answered questions. So I can answer it in my video where it's right there in front of them. Next, I want to talk about something that a lot of you are going to want to know about and that is scaling. You will absolutely want to know this because stuff around your house is going to get you to 50 or $100 a day, which is really, really cool to be making $1,500 to $3,000 a month, but you want to scale, right? You want this to take you away from your job and free you completely from that and that is what we're going to talk about next. All right, so this is what I've done to scale. Besides going to friends and family, going around, doing all that stuff, I actually have just been purchasing products, literally buying up a thousand things on Amazon and let me show you how exactly I'm coming up with what I'm buying. First thing I do is I pick a category. So if you go to Amazon right here, you can see it's got uh, a ton of different categories. You can go to shop by department and it's got all the different categories right here. 
And even better, each of those categories has subcategories. So for me, I love the home and garden space and I love the toys, kids, and baby space. So I'm gonna go into here and I'm going to go into toys, kids, and baby, and I'm going to go into baby right here, okay? And if you look right here, there's a thousand different kinds of baby products and I'm going to pick a category. Uh, so it might be baby diapering, it might be um, potty training, things like that. But I'm gonna pick a category and come up with a bunch of different products. So I decided um, to pick in strollers and accessories. Now that's the category that I'm gonna first start focusing on. Is there an opportunity for me to make money in the stroller space. So I'm just gonna show you right here on the spreadsheet, this is how I keep track of my categories and how I figure out where the opportunities are. And like I said, guys, this is no holds barred. I'm literally showing you everything I'm doing. In fact, I'm even showing you the opportunities, uh, some of the opportunities that I've been discovering right here on the screen. So if you like where this video is going, if you appreciate this kind of content where we just kind of like dump it and give you everything you need to know, let me know in the comments down below. Give me a like, a comment, something like that. That is my tip. So let's dive in here and show you what I do. So you can see here one of these categories that I found as I was just digging through categories is elliptical, right? So then I'll go to Amazon and I'll type in elliptical. Okay, right here you can see there's ellipticals and I'll start looking through all the ellipticals and adding them to a spreadsheet. And you can hire someone to do this or you can do this yourself, whatever your budget is. But some things that are so important for you to understand about scaling, if you don't understand these, you'll probably lose money trying to scale. If you do understand these, you'll probably make a lot more money. The first one is videos amount. So you can see right here, I'm on this product page of this vegetable chopper and we can see these are the six videos right here, right? Great. Only six videos can show up in this queue right here, right? The brand can have anywhere from one to six. They can choose how many they upload. And then us, the influencers, can upload as well. So you can see this currently has six total videos. What that means is if you upload a video, yes, there is a chance you can make a better video and rank. But there's also a good chance that you don't, right? You're competing with a bunch of other people. You don't necessarily know just how many you're competing with. And you don't know that your video is going to show up there. That means I could go spend $33 on this product and I don't show up at all and I get no sales and I lose $33 for a product that at least I personally have no desire to have. So that means that we want products that have less than six videos because if there's less than six, we will show up almost guaranteed. I've had it happen maybe once where I didn't show up and I still don't know why, but you're almost guaranteed to show up right there on that product page in prime placement. Now, the next important thing you've got to know is the brand actually gets to decide whether or not they want to have influencer videos on their page. So this is one of the competitors to that product we just showed you. And you can see right here, there are no videos. And you might initially think, yeah, Yes, I'm the only one that's gonna make a video. This is gonna be incredible. I'm gonna make all this money because I'm the only video there. They're all gonna watch mine. But it's more than likely on a product like this that the actual thing is there is no video showing up because the brand has made that choice. So this is another way to lose money by buying this product, thinking you're gonna show up and then you don't show up at all. And again, you get no views, you have a product you don't want and you're out 40 bucks. So that gives us this sweet spot, right? We want products that already have at least one influencer video on there because we know it's going to show up. What we don't want is products that have more than six influencer videos on there because we don't know it's gonna show up. So we want a guarantee. If we're gonna spend money on something, we want a guarantee, right? We all love guarantees. So you can see here, this is the criteria of what I'm looking for when I decide, when I start doing this research, right? I want it to be over $100. Now there's a really good reason for that. If a product is $10, right? And I make a video for it, I'll make probably 30 cents in commissions each time that product sells, which means I'm probably gonna have to do a lot more work to make money. If a product's over $100, I can make one, two, three bucks every time there's a sale. Essentially, I can do a lot less work and make a similar or more amount of money. Now, two more things I'm looking for. I want reviews over 500, meaning I want it to be getting sales, right? And then this is uh, one of the big things that I think I've been able to, to use that, that's really set me apart and totally Total reviews over 10 days. Now to get that, you're gonna go here and you're gonna click on the total ratings right here, right? You're gonna click on that and you're actually gonna go to top reviews and then select most recent reviews, right? And what we wanna know is how many times has this product been reviewed in the last 10 days? So March 8th, March 8th, March 8th, March 7th, March 7th. So we would add those up in the last 10 days and we would put that in this column right here. Now essentially that's telling us velocity, right? Because there's some products that might have 5,000 reviews, but they've been on Amazon for five years. So 5,000 reviews is not that much. They're selling one a month or one every two months. That's all they're doing. They've just been there for a while. This tells us, hey, this product is selling hot right now. Now I'll be the first to admit there's tools that you can use to do this. I'm not, I'm trying to do this the really simple way, the cheap way, right? You can see all kinds of different tools that'll show you a lot of information like this, but they're just pulling the information from Amazon the same way I am in this video. So give this video a like if you like saving money. All right, and let's look at the last two items in our spreadsheet, and that's total videos not from brand and total videos from brand, right? What we want is we want it to have some videos not from brand. We want some influencer videos, but we don't want six, okay? So we're gonna throw all this in a spreadsheet, and now we can start getting really good information, right? We can start looking down the spreadsheet and finding where the real opportunities are. So I'm looking here and I'm seeing two different opportunities, right? This sunny one right here, uh, that's 140 and one for 385. This one has 17,000 reviews and is getting eight every 10 days, which is pretty good. And then this one's only getting four. So I'm looking at this one right now, right? As my hot item, it's got 
two and two, which is great. That means there's still a spot for two different videos. It's selling quite a bit. It's a higher priced item. Let's click on it and see. Now you can see right there, it actually has six videos right now. This spreadsheet was made three months ago, but you can see here, one of those videos was me. So I was able to jump on this opportunity and make a lot of sales, especially in about two minutes. We're gonna talk about the, the reason this one really crushed it for me. Now you can see here, Amazon has literally thousands of categories that you can start scrolling through. You can see here, this is just ellipticals. That's one of a subcategory of a subcategory of a subcategory, right? We've dove really deep into one specific rabbit hole. And you can see right here, I can keep scrolling and I have done a myriad of different categories and you can see tons of different opportunities. And those are the products that I'm buying and I'm reviewing. Now, two specific caveats, things you must know, do not start buying and returning. A lot of people have reached out to me and said, oh, this is a, I have a great idea, I'm so smart, I can just buy it and then I'll return it to Amazon and then I won't be out any money. That will be fun for about three products and then Amazon will very quickly catch on to what you're doing. They discovered this with affiliate marketers years and years ago and will absolutely shut down both your influencer account and your actual Amazon account. So don't go in the weeds on that. Obviously you could go to Walmart and buy it, maybe make a video and then return it to Walmart. I'm not gonna speak about the ethics of that, right? That seems to be on the edge perhaps of taking advantage of Walmart's return policy. But anyway, do not go and buy an Amazon and return to Amazon, that is a no-no. All right, now I promised in two minutes I was gonna show you exactly why that elliptical just crushed it for me and that is this reason right here. Seasonal items do insanely well. So I did $22,000 in the month of December and the way that I did it is I focused hard on seasonal items. There's a few things that I know about December. The first one obviously is Christmas. You can see right here, this wreath made me, I was getting 20 to 30 sales a day selling this wreath. Now I'm getting zero sales on that wreath, right? But I was able to hit it right at the right time. I had the review up at the beginning of December and did very well with that. There was also storms going crazy in the US. It was a really cold winter, right? So I bought this heater. Did very, very well with this heater. Again, not doing any sales with that heater. Now no one buys heaters at the beginning of spring. Same thing with hot tubs, right? Everyone was buying a hot tub at the beginning of December. So there's there's seasons to things. Every single holiday, every single change of season, there's all kinds of things that are going to be selling very, very hot for about a month period, right? As we see this, this change up. And so you want to be able to tag into those. The, the cool thing here, right, is instead of it taking three, four, five months for you to make your money back, you can make your money back in a matter of weeks or even days buying the right product at the right time. All right, let's talk about scaling method number three. This one's so cool because it doesn't cost you any money, which we love and what this video is really trying to focus on. Uh, I gotta tell you, I've gotten free lawn chairs, office chairs, desks, backpacks, vacuum cleaners, weight racks, even these really cool roller blades given for free to me in order for me to make videos about it. So you will find after you've uploaded your first 50 to 100 videos, there's going to be programs that are going to start reaching out to you and offering you free product to make videos about that product. Now you do need to disclose this in the videos. That's fine, that's an ethical thing anyway. So just to make sure you disclose that in the videos. But here's the thing, you're gonna find after about 100 videos, you're going to get hammered. You're gonna get literally a thousand people reaching out to you trying to give you all kinds of free stuff. And some of that will be super cool stuff like this vacuum cleaner right here. But some of that will be stuff that costs four, five, six dollars on Amazon. It's jewelry, it's shower curtains, it's all kinds of random little tiny things. And you will find that if you start saying yes to everybody, all of your time starts to get eaten up making these videos that one, don't make you a lot of money because typically the products that are selling really well aren't the ones that are reaching out to you. And you'll find that your house slowly starts to fill up with items that you don't really want or you need. And a lot of these items are really, really tough to sell because some of them are so random that no one's really looking on a Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist for something random. A great example is this portable printer right here. I got this, it's a $150 portable printer. I had to make a minute video on it, which was awesome. But guess what? I don't have any use for that printer and I can't sell this thing for $10 because no one's looking for a portable printer on any of the Facebook Marketplace apps near me. Now, this is small, but when you start getting into some bigger things, you start to fill up your house with a lot of junk. So once this starts happening, there's two things you can do. One is you only offer free videos on stuff that you actually want or that you can actually sell. So it needs to be worth a lot of money and be easy to sell like a vacuum cleaner, right? There's always a market for vacuum cleaners. Or the second thing, if you don't think you want it or you don't think you're gonna be able to sell it, then you're going to want to charge money for it. And some sellers will just completely stop responding to you, but I've had plenty of people where we have deals where they pay 25, 30, $40 in order for me to make a video about their product. And this is because they're struggling to get influencers, right? They can't find someone that's willing to take a video about this $5 product. They're not able to find people that are willing to do that because we value our time. And so instead you can offer to uh, accept money for that. You do have to disclose money again in the video. So this is awesome because at some point you no longer have to start buying products to scale, right? It's almost like you slowly more. First you start with your products, then you go to friends and family, then you start buying products and then you get enough products on there that people just start to give you free products. And if you don't want to, you don't literally have to buy anything after that. You can see here as I look at some of my most recent products that I put on there, uh, this one was free, this one was free, this one was free, this one was free, 
this one was free. So more than half of the products that I'm reviewing at this point are free and I'm able to make commissions off of them once they go live. You can see currently sitting at zero views because they just barely went live. All right, let's give the tip that we promised where you can easily make a lot more money just by doing this one simple thing. And that's this. And what it is is that you can actually have two things. You can have multiple videos on a single product page. So right here, I'm gonna show you this pet carpet cleaner thing. And you can see right here that I'm making number one right there, but this person has two videos and they're ranking number two and three, right? You can make more than one video about a product. And all you've got to do is take a different angle. You could do a review of a product. You could do a demo of a product. You could do a versus, right? You could do this product versus this product. And all those videos are different and they can all go on there and maybe one of them does well, maybe one of them doesn't. And the second thing is if you look in your dashboard right here, this is my Amazon dashboard, you can actually delete videos, right? So you might see a video do a few different things. One, you upload it, it never shows up, it never gets views, it literally just fizzles and that's not very fun but you can delete it and you can upload a different one and see if that one does better, no problem. But you also might see a video go on and it'll get a bunch of views. I reviewed the Google Nest a while back and I instantly got a ton of sales, right? I ranked and I ranked for about two weeks and did really well. But then because there's so many people uploading videos, mine slowly dropped back down again, which tells us that Amazon does care about the recency of the video, by the way. But all you need to do is go click delete, delete that video, and then you can go re-upload the same video and a lot of that will come back, right? It, now now it's that all that same video quality, but now it's got recency attached. This is a brand new video as well. Very, very simple hack that you can do. And so keep an eye on your videos. When you see a video start to die out, unless it's a seasonal item, you will want to make a one minute video again about that product if you still have it, or you can just go delete it and upload it. And you'll see that once again, your video shows up and once again, you can start making money. All right, that's all I got. One thing I will say at the end is I am in a mastermind and a lot of this stuff that I'm learning and, and figuring out is coming out of that. And I'll leave a link down below if you wanna kinda of learn more about that or learn more about the Amazon Influencer Program in general, getting approved, all that fun stuff. Uh, there will be a link down below. Uh, but that's all I got. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Again, if you learned something that's gonna make you money in this video, uh, the only way to tip me is that like and that comment.